Well, we've come to the end of our overview of the Becoming Equipped to Communicate resource. And as we do that, we want to, in closing, introduce you to a number of other language and culture learning resources that are available, and, and you probably will find some good help from these in specific contexts. And so they're worth checking into. And so we're going to list some of those for you. And, um, you know, so there may be others in the settings where you're working who, who actually have access to other resources. So they've successfully learned the languages and cultures. And, and so they're integrated in the community and they can give you help as well. But here are some resources that we mentioned uh, because, at least in part, they're based on the same kinds of learning principles that uh, we value as well. And so they might help give you some extra ideas as you get started. One resource that has been helpful to a number of learners is a program by Greg Thompson called the Growing Participator Approach. And it's a six phase program you can read about on the GPA website. And by the way, the links to the websites will be included in the written accompaniment of, of this material. We, we'd want you to keep in mind that sometimes the GPA can be fairly ap academic in the way it's expressed. There are lots of good things to think about. Um, some of the learning activities, too, aren't, aren't necessarily well connected to local cultural context, and there's not much of an emphasis on cultural acquisition, per se. But Greg Thompson, the author, also has a blog spot for, for people who use his approach, and there are helpful posts there uh, for various aspects of learning that relate to that particular language learning program. And then a second um, website that we found helpful is called the Everyday Language Learner. It has a, a hub of resources that, 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 again, you may find helpful tips for language learning and other kinds of resources. Uh, SIL, the Summer Institute of Linguistics, has some language learning pages. And uh, th there's a range of approaches represented there. Some are more grammatically driven, not relationship-centered and cultural dri culturally driven, but nonetheless... Uh, some helpful tools for you that you might find um, useful in your learning. There's also uh, CARLA, which is a Center for Advanced Research on Language Acquisition that is a, a language teacher-based site from the, from the U.S. that has um, resources and links on integrating culture, in fact, with language learning. And, and then another, just as an example, is Cultural Bridge Productions, which is, uh, tr includes travelogues of countries in Asia uh, interviews with people from those countries, people who've traveled there, that gives you some introduction to aspects of culture in certain kinds of contexts. Um, the I Love Language page is a catalog of, of links and websites that re relate to a large number of, of specific languages around the world. Why Warriors, another website that's dedicated to cross-cultural learning materials, uh, links particularly for Australian Aboriginal cultures. Interesting articles and resources there in relationship to that. And then also another resource that's well established is the SIL, the Summer Institute of Linguistics Ethnologue, which is really the only full-scale catalog of its kind of the uh, research of general, generalized research of all the world's major languages listed there with, with information about their status, their viability, vitality, and other things. So those are just some of the resources that you can access to accompany your learning as you, as you work your way through the Becoming Equipped to Communicate material.